Hi garden friends, today's episode is about turnips, white turnips to be exact, and the reason I planted those is because another YouTuber suggested that they may be an alternative to potatoes. Today we're going to pull the first of the white turnips and prepare them in the kitchen. I planted the turnips in a Hugel style pot with some of my static compost, and I got these pots for $9 a piece. Okay, I won't bore you with my frugality. Did you know that you could eat both the greens and the roots on a turnip? Yes, you can. And there's also 30 different kinds. Some are sweet, and some are starchy like potatoes. If you're enjoying this content, please could you like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notification, and then we'll head inside to prepare our turnips. To prepare the turnips for eating, you wanna cut off the roots and the base of the leaves when you're ready to eat then you wash them and if needed you can peel them so we're giving them a good bath and rinsing them off really well and then we will drain them for just a minute or two in the sink drain. Turnips are rich in vitamins and minerals such as calcium, folate, magnesium, phosphate, potassium, vitamin C. They're also good for cancer prevention, eye and bone health, and they help control blood sugar, they have anti-inflammatory effect, they may control bacterial growth and help in weight management. I didn't peel these because they were tender enough. I thinly sliced the turnips and then I noticed I forgot to spray my dish with the olive oil spray. So I sprayed my dish, then I'm putting the turnips back in the bottom and then cutting the leaves and the stems into small pieces. I forgot to mention that if you pull your turnips and don't want to eat them for a few days, just leave them in the refrigerator and wash them when you get ready to prepare. Today I'm going to be roasting these, but you can also boil or steam them or saute them and you can also eat the greens and salads or you can grind them into slaw and you can also pickle turnips for gut friendly probiotics. For this recipe we're adding about a teaspoon of salt, we've added bone broth and we're adding Cajun seasoning and then we're going to cover it with aluminum foil. We're going to put that in the oven at 375 and I set it to bake for about 45 minutes. Then I'm putting my scraps into my compost. And here we are, 45 minutes later. My stove. And they have cooked down nicely. They smell very good. I wish you could smell these. And we will be serving them up shortly for lunch. They're very steamy. <laughs> Wish you could smell those and here they are plated up. Those were so yummy. 